Hello. <coughs> For those of you that are new here, every day I do live videos where I go on YouTube and I cover everything trading related from mindset to absolutely everything. Tra everything trading related. My name is Ryan Crothers. I'm from the Betfair trading community where we help traders go further faster with our stats and forum software. If you are new here, please do hit subscribe and you will be notified of these videos. Now, I do these videos every single day and today, I, I normally do them first thing in the morning. Today was crazy. I had to be at my solicitors for nine o'clock and I had to sort loads and loads of stuff out and I have li literally only just walked back in the front door quickly eating something. I have got a glass of red, um, which I am a big fan of, um, which is partly John, Fo John Folan's fault. And um, I decided, yeah, I'm going to still get the video done. As I said, I go away, so I'm away from tomorrow. And I've still got a list as long as my arm of stuff to get done. But these videos I really enjoy doing and I think they're fantastic for you guys. Now, yesterday, I had a little bit of an issue with my internet. I changed my internet over, and they did it a day early, and it cut out on me yesterday, and then my phone carried on streaming while I was installing a, a new router. All sorted back at the office. But one of the things that, one of the questions I was asked was about Martin Futter's 2.5 goals, and it's not profitable over the long term. And I want to address that question. So, Martin is a pro trader, at Betfair Trading Community and has been around with us for a very long time and has a history of being profitable over many, many years <clears throat> and creating good good things to follow in, in football. I have Martin's results as a spreadsheet in front of me for the under 2.5s and I'm going to put that up into the, the comment section now. And you can look, they started on the 30th of July and Martin currently has a 2.5 profit and loss of £70 and a 1.5 profit and loss of £125. So, so profit, pretty, pretty good profit considering it's been going a month um, when the main leagues weren't on. Um, so yeah, just wanted to address that because somebody said that it wasn't profitable over the longer term. Martin has a history of being profitable over the longer term. And this is something which he is sharing with the community. And he is pushing that forward. And he is going and checking that all the time and trying to make this better. I really need to have a quick sip of this. Does anybody else drink red? And if you do, let me know which ones you like. So yeah, I know it's not the morning, um, but I was determined to get this video done because I said I will be away for a couple of days. Now, well, I'll be back, hopefully I'll be back on the 11th doing, doing one of these videos. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to clarify with the, the comment yesterday because I wasn't, actually around on the live because it was going on and I couldn't really reply. So I wanted to, to do that. I am different camera angle, might not be as good, um, but my setup is at the office. Somebody on Hanover Dortmund, what are you on on that? Because I've literally just walked in the door and I had lined up myself. <coughs> Right, I am just going through now to find mine. So, the only one that, gosh, all of mine have already been automated and gone. So, we may have a one in Iceland. Uh, Hanover Dortmund, nil nil at half time. So, I take it you are going to be laying the, take a look at the stats. Yeah. I haven't seen them. I'll have a look. I've literally just walked in the door. First thing I did, walk in the door. 
and turn the laptop on and the phone on and do this. So I haven't seen any of the stats. <laughs> I'm just going to load it up now. Right, so we have a nil-nil in the Hanover Dortmund game, so I bet that's going to be a lay of the current score. So there's been <coughs> there's only been two shots on goal so far. That surprises me with Dortmund. Iceland. Photo. I'm just going to have a quick look around now. If you guys have spotted anything, please shout it out. Help me out. See what you've you've spotted. I was on Leeds Borough for an under 2.5. Yes, yeah, nil-nil, isn't it? I've got that on in the background, actually. Yeah, that's on behind me. Just checking it out. What do you think of Leon stats? Okay, let's have a look at that one. Okay, so Leon. We are just going into the... We're at half time now. Cool. Let's have a little look at the stats. The stats are saying... There's only two shots on goal as well in that one. That's a bit crazy. What's happening with these teams? I'm just going to log into the BTC stats and... Have a little look for you and see what I can find. I would want to see, definitely want to see a few more shots on target before I got involved in that one because I think we're going to need a bit more if we only had two. Right, qualifiers. Let's have a look what I can pull up. I meant the BTC stats. Yeah, cool. I'm on it. I am on it right now for you. So... Do, 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 do. We have. Let's have a look. What have we got in there? I just want to find one game as well quickly. Have a look. Iceland. Nope. Okay, cool. I want to keep an eye on this uh, Trotter versus Haukar game in Iceland. Oh, God. I did, but it's £4 matched on the nil-nil. £4. Correct, uh, on the correct score, sorry. The match odds is 2,500, which is, mm, okay. Not amazing, but not, not fantastic either. All right, let's get the... Okay, let's have a look at these stats for BTC, the BTC stats. Okay, goals. Okay, the Trotter game is going to have goals in it. I know it is. Uh, right, France. Let's have a look at France then. League One. <laughs> Half-time scores. Oh, it's not giving me them. Yes, it will. Come on. Here we go. Just needed loading up. So we have, on the half-time percentages, the Leon game. We have, overall, 30% nil-nil. 1-0, 30%, 0-1, 20%. Now that drops down to a full-time of nil-nil, 5%, 1-0, 5%, 0-1, 5%. 5%. Looks a pretty good potential game. Overs and unders, let's have a look at the percentages. 90% in the second half and head-to-head 90% -head in the second half as well. So potentially a nice, nice looking one. Uh, I just want to see goal times. Average goals in the half one, 0.9. Average goals in the half, second half, 1.85. First goal on average at 31 minutes. That is one that I'm going to have a look at. I'm going to have to see a bit more, though, to be honest, in play there. 
to, to get involved in that one. Let's have a quick look at Germany because that Dortmund game is getting close to a potential point there. So we're looking at Dortmund, we have an average goals of 3.25. The problem with these is though, they haven't played many games. So it's a little bit tricky to, to really, really want to get involved in them. Unless we see some spectacular stuff. But let's have a look at the half-time scores. Percentages 30% nil-nil at half-time, and that drops to 0% at full-time. So that's another one that we could keep our eye on. But we're going to need to see a little bit more a little bit more happening, really, in both of those games. I am going to add the Iceland game as well to this list, the Trotor game. At 26 minutes in, it's nil-nil. Um, there's no goal, there's no money in the correct score market, which is, would have been my preferred market, to be honest. But if we can get a nice looking, a nice looking nil nil, we might just be able to get, we might be able to get a later draw in there actually. Um, just look and see if there's anything else happening. Okay, the let's have a look what's happening. And just on flash scores to see the other games that we've got. Okay, so we have uh, what's happening in Ireland in the Premier League. What do we have? Do we have the Dortmund one? Thanks for assessing the games. The Dortmund one actually does does fit some some nice some nice stats, but I've got to see more from them in that in there. Uh, do we have Shelbourne and Limerick? Let's have a look at Shelbourne and Limerick, see what's happening there. Limerick 0-0, I'm going to have a look at that one. Shelbourne 2-0, I'm not going to bother with that one. But Limerick, let's have a look what's happening in the Limerick one because we've got an average of 3.5 goals and a 0-0 full time. And they've played a lot of games. Dundalk are away. At the top of the league, ninety percent second half, ninety percent head to head. Okay, let's have a look at the let's have a look at what's going on in that. I tell you, who we need we need the goal king now, Keith. Keith, if you're watching this, why are you going on that one? So we have first half shots on goal five from Dundalk, three from Limerick, eight. That's not too bad. This is one I'm definitely going to keep my eye on. Let's wait for that to get a little bit. A little bit more heated, shall we say. Um, I might have to plug my phone in on a moment. Yeah, right. Okay. Quarter to nine. Let's just have a quick shoot around, see what else we can find. Just checking out everything else. Just to see what else we can find, really. Well, I think they're the my actual... I like the Limerick one. I like potentially like the Dortmund one. Not loads and loads of games played, but... Yeah, I can... I see just a little bit more there. Second. I'm just loading up some games over the next couple of days as well just to see if there's anything that I can leave you with um, that I fancy the look of. I will go over. I'll tell you what I will go over for you. Some things that I like the look of for that might be good. I don't know if there's going to be any there yet. But you know we talk... Okay, so tomorrow, guys, Real Madrid, they are looking like the heavy heavy favorites but you know when we said the price goes up down 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 it's looking like that's happening now on a lesser scale there's twenty three thousand pound match definitely keep your eye on that for that tomorrow so you need to look right at the very end of the graph and it's just got to go up and down up and down up and down up and down that's it just up and down a tick the whole way i'm just gonna keep my eye on these
I'm just getting so many messages and emails through now. Just listening in as well to the football behind me. What have, how have you guys been doing anyway today? What have you been trading? What have you been looking at? What are your plans for the weekend? Um, let's let's try and get as much out of this as we can. If there's something that you like the look of, or you want you want some stats on, then let's do it. Let's let's have a look. Um, it's like I say, I'm here. We might as well have a little look. All of those games are still nil nil. Great. Just going to give them a couple more minutes. And then I'll check in on them again. Get to the second. Mm. Yeah, so if there is if there is anything that you like the look of or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, then please, yeah, give me a shout on it. Let's have a look what's happening in this Dortmund game. Let's check the second half out. This might get later. This might be a really later one because we've got... Whoa, there's no shots. So we're 60 minutes in. There's no shots on goal in this second half, but two for Hanover. Like, just what is going on? There's one corner, one three kick, one block shot. Ball possession. Dortmund have got 37% of the possession. Just doesn't fill me with loads and loads of confidence. Let's have a look at these lineups as well. Marco Royce is playing as well. Dalio Witzel, Schmelzer, De Who, De Who's a good player. Yeah, it just doesn't. It's not really, really screaming out to me that that's going to have a goal in it, to be honest. But guess what? It, will, it probably will. Um, <coughs> pardon me. The match summary. I've got nothing. For Iceland, Trotor, which is not good. Uh, okay. And we're still waiting on the other two to go and play. So, yeah, not much we can be looking at. So, thank you for assessing the games. Not a problem. Quite happy to do that. Uh, Paul, you're doing lay the draw on which game? Which game are you going to lay the draw on? <coughs> Just developed. <coughs> Cough for some reason. Okay, Leon, just come back and play. Let's have a little look. Give that five minutes. So where are we now? Ten to nine. Okay. So now for this nice aircon. Jeez, I know. I couldn't get in with my usual barber. Absolutely scalped me, the other guy. So what do you want? I said, can I have uh, one and a half back and sides, please? Well. He just went for it and then said to me, oh, I've done a naught at the back. I was like, a naught? He's like, yeah, I've done a naught. Yeah. Crazy. Ah. Interesting. I'm doing about a million things at once. Checking lots and lots of different stats quickly and getting caught up. And now I'm ready. Now I'm here. So for these to actually happen, what do we need? We need shots on target. So if we're going to think about doing this, we do need... Could you tell me stat of Fulham Brighton? Yep. Hi, I live in Brazil and would like to know if you recommend to do scalping because of the delay in the games. Do you mean scalping because the, you think the market is delayed? I don't quite understand your question there. What is the, what is the delay in Brazil? Stats of Fulham Brighton. Yep, yeah, let's have a look for you. 
Let's see what we can find. Okay. England. I need to sit up better. Brighton versus Fulham. So, current win streak for Brighton. Do. Yeah, 10 second game to TV in. It doesn't really give you an advantage because the markets kind of know what's happening. So, yeah, the, the, the markets will be quite reactive. There won't be much of a delay actually on the market in Betfair, I wouldn't imagine. Um, so I'd look to do a strategy that works for you. If scalping works for you, then I'd definitely do that. Okay. So, overs and unders on Brighton. Brighton versus Fulham. So far, we've got over 0.5, 100%. 65 of that in the first half. 75 percent in the second half. Under 2.5s, 90 percent. Under half one, 80 percent. Half two. Over 2.5, 55 percent, which is quite low. On a head-to-head. -head, 0% over 0.5, but 100% over 0.5 in the second half. Now let's have a look at the half-time scores. 35% 0-0, 1-0, 15%, That drops to 0% 0 1-0, 10%, 0-1, 10%. I want to see the averages for the overall is 2.8. First goal comes roughly around 34 minutes. So... Looking like second half goals in that one, to be honest. Um, and it, yeah, that looks quite nice. Uh, overall, average goals 2.8. Hmm. So, yeah, quite a nice one. Potentially. So, all of those games are still nil nil. Looking like we might not get involved in anything at this rate. Still no shots on goal in Dortmund. Really don't like the look of that. Really, really, really do not like the look of that. But can you see how the bat the the battery? My phone's just popped up saying battery's low. The stats are saying that it looks like there could be goals. Because historically, there is goals in these games. But when you actually pair that to the in-play, it, it tells you a different story. There isn't actually the goals there. Because for whatever reason, they're just not there. So stats give you so much information and so much ammunition to trade a game. And over the long term, they're incredibly profitable and the best thing that you can do. But they have to be paired up with the in-play, with what's actually happening. You have to build up a picture of what you think is happening and then get information on that. So, that Dortmund game right now. Oh, there's a goal in Nice, isn't there? Nice have just scored. No one, but... Those first half stats, two shots on goal from Dortmund. There was one shot on goal and Nice have scored it. So now, now we can actually look at that game a little bit more because and I was having this chat with one of the members yesterday. Goals actually create, they create things in football matches. They create, they're an event. They create pressure. And Leon are a good side. I think we all agree that. So... If we have a look, excellent tennis ebook, by the way. Many thanks. Not a problem. I'm glad you got some value from it. So, when um, the away team lead happens 60% of the time, they then go on to win 20% of the games. They draw 10% of the games and they lose 30% of the games. So, we've got 40% chance right now. Just quickly looking at that. 
that that can happen, <laughs> that they can they can actually concede a goal. Now their average time spent leading. French game, Ducker scored, yep. But their average time leading is 21 minutes. So let's have a look at that. Now, the average time behind for Lyon is 13 minutes. So if we give this game 10 minutes, so we're calling it 53 minutes, we give this 10 minutes and we get to 63 minutes, we can start to see if Lyon are actually, are actually doing any good here. And if they are, there might be an opportunity. I want to just have a, another look to back that up with the overs and the unders. So we need over 1.5 for the second half. Over 1.5. 40%. Ooh, it's not massive stat that. Head to head, over 60% in the second half. Okay. But what I want to see there... Is the stats are telling us that Leon are on average behind for 13 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I would like to see Leon put in a shift in, to be honest. Um, I am just going to have to get my cable for my phone. So two seconds. I should have one. Yeah. No. Limerick game looks good now. I'm going to have a look at that one in two seconds. I'm just going to run upstairs and grab my cable. I'll be back in two seconds. Right, let's get this plugged in. So we don't lose any. That's better. Now we have some power. Okay, after that. So limit game. Let's have a look at these stats. Second half. Three shots on goal. Possession's picking up. So what we need to do now is check some other stats out. We need to get bet three six five up. Bet fair as well. Let's have a look. Okay. Live in play. Gosh, I'm freezing. Okay. So. Let's have a look at this match info. So the weather's good, the pitch is good. Possession is all looking like it's done dark. So on target four, on target four. So it's pretty, pretty even off target one and two. Okay, cool. So I want to give that a couple more minutes yet just to really let that bed in. Because we need that second half. We need a little bit more there. Limerick done dark. Getting some more stats going. Okay, so trying to get some more. Nearly a goal in that Leeds game, good shot. Hold me in that did. Okay. So ah, so this Dortmund game is boring, isn't it? Still haven't had a shot and goal. Great. No shot and goal there. Da -da -da -da. Right. So Thank you. 
Leeds are getting all the ball, but they're not threatening. Quite like the Betfair match stats as well, the match view, because one of the great things you can do with that is put last 10 minutes. So last 10 minutes we've seen, we have actually seen Dundalk with two shots on target and one from... Two, one. I still want to see a little, little, little bit more than that, if I can. In the last five minutes, we've had one shot. Quite like that to be four, if I am honest. So let's give. Okay, that goal in the Leon game. Okay, 50, 50 minutes, so we're eight minutes, nearly nine minutes in. Let's have a look what's happened on the stats there. Second half, one shot on target from Leon. Keep my eye on that one as well. So it's just now a case of keeping our eye on, on them. I think I'm narrowing this down. I'm taking Dortmund out. I'm, I'm not even bothering anymore with it. It's off the list. The one I am actually... Looking at the Limerick game and the Iceland game, the Trotor game in Iceland. Um, Okie dokie then. Hmm. So we've got to half time in the Iceland game. Great. Ah, so what? How else can we uh, can we help, guys? What else is there that you'd like to chat about tonight? Yeah, we usually do these in the morning, and um, we could actually then plan the trades out and have more time to research them, etc. These I am having a little look at. I can pick the stats up quite quickly, and the Iceland game actually I did look at this morning. It is it's a trade that I was potentially looking at anyway. So you what Danny can put a ball in sometimes. Just whipped a hell of a ball in. Hell of a ball. Still looking at this This Limerick one, you know. The last five minutes now we're going into a different set of five. There's no there's just nothing happening. There's nothing happening yet, which is great. Why never lay below 1.03? Is that's on the tennis? I, I I would actually take a, I would take that on. I'd take 1.03 on in the right in the right circumstances, the right situation. Um, I would take it on in the right situation depending on what was happening in the game but to be honest when you get to 1.3 for me the strike rate needed it's it's just not worth it I'd need I'd need a lot to happen for the for the price to really really move up and that's on that way of trading as well from the from the ebook which is all very well researched and years and years of of, of trading so 1.03 for me it's just it's not something that I would I would do unless unless it was like Rafael Nadal against Federer or or I'd spotted something so if I've spotted something I did lay Rafael Nadal once at 1.5 1.05 and because I just I just spotted that he didn't look right for some reason um his knees just, he just, he's very heavy on his knees and he, he looked like he was starting to wane a little bit and then he did actually drop the next set and the, then the one after that, which was fantastic. But yeah, 1.03 for me, it's very, very, very low. I know it can only go another couple of ticks down, but realistically for that to happen, you need a big shift in the market and usually the market is expecting that to win. So just... Just for me, it's a, it's a numbers game. And if I did that, I'd need to do that so, so many times 
to get to get profit yes the risk is is minimal so you only need one in 100 to win uh, and to win well and you'll wipe it out but for me it's just not the it's not the odds i would prefer to be um to be laying in let's have a quick look at this leon game now it's been 10 minutes as I say, I think the goals, I'm still one shot on goal. That one's not really screaming out to me either, to be honest. The shots on goal, this Dundalk one. Getting in now, 62 minutes. I know one of my members is looking at it. Is looking at it. it says the odds are quite high on the Limerick game. They are, gosh, the odds are so high. Let's have a little look at those. They're 3.65, not happy with that at all. No, 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 not 60 minutes. I'm 5.3 on the nil-nil. No, 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 no. Way, 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 way too high. I'd want that to be, whoa. I'd want that to be coming in a lot lower than that. I'd want that to be getting closer to, to 2.5 at this point. Maybe slightly more. Just slightly more, two point six or so. But yeah, that's not looking nice. I think I'm going to leave that one as well. Just don't like those odds at all. So time will tell whether that was good. But for me, I just I'm I'm not doing the Leon game. I'm not doing the Limerick game. I have ignored the Bundesliga game as well. That's gone. The one that I researched this morning is the Trotter game. So that's the one that I'm going to... Oh, really look at this chair. It's not comfortable at all. I'm going to sit in a bit. But then I'm looking at that game now, and the stats for that in play are just not there. We've got two shots on target. Two. That was in the first half. Yeah, we're looking for, we're looking for goals in the second half, but it's just not there. Not there. Sometimes you do get this as well, guys. Like, so I have researched the Trotter game. That's one I would look at definitely doing. This might not. It might. It just might not be good. It just might not be a good. Good night to find some. But yeah, thank you for. No, this knows. I don't know what has happened. I've been. I've been outside the last couple of hours, and it's just. My nose is just sniffing like mad. It's crazy. Very, very annoying. So, yeah, I mean, this Leon Nice game, nothing is happening. Um, I'm definitely leaving that one. The only one I'm really going to watch out for is Trottle. Yeah, I've got that up everywhere. That is there everywhere. Let's have a little look at that. Don't just want to sit here in silence for you guys. So that's not going to be loads and loads of fun for you. Gosh, that wine is nice. <laughs> Still got to wait for this one to come. To come in. And now it kicked off at quarter past. Quarter past eight. This Leeds game, nothing's happening in that either, really. waiting for stuff to happen <sighs> pardon me right what else is currently going on that I can oh tennis love 
but I'm not really I'm focusing on this these games that we are looking at Let's see where we can go with that Oops. Wow. So I've just seen, so one of my members, Simon, he might be watching this, he is really, really good at, uh, at tennis. He's, he's been using our stats and he's uses the forecast system and he's, he's worked really hard and he's spotted something and he's been giving out lays. Now I've just seen, now I automate these lays. So he put them up on the community 14 hours ago only managed to get on the first two and then went out for the evening but two more for today guys so we have Pella as the first one I've just seen the score on the Pella game so Pella was the favourite and he laid him and he is currently 2.6 to back so it's massive he was well under 2 starting price and now he's 2.9 so he lost the first set why is the second set same for what? Strange. Um, but yeah, the, the prices are huge on him. So he's very, 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 very good. That's a cracking trade there. Well done, Simon. Just looking to see if there's any others. See what else is happening on the community. The game is tomorrow, so looked at that for tomorrow. So we can get that one. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at the scores, shall we? See what's happening. So we have a nil one in Nice, a nil nil in Dortmund, eight five minutes, pretty much over, and Limerick is still nil nil. So I haven't seen anything to excite me to be honest. The odds on Limerick were way too high. There wasn't enough shots on Leon and Nice, Dortmund and Hanover exactly the same, and Trotter is half time. Uh, that'd be the only one that, but still, there's no, there's not loads and loads and loads of shots that in the first half that has tempted me in. It'd be the first ten minutes, and if there is, there's gonna have to be quite a few shots for me to to want to get involved in. That to be honest, I'm just gonna. Yeah, nothing much happening there on any of them really. Which can be quite frustrating, to be honest. What else have we got happening? I'm just checking everything else, checking the forum, checking the community, seeing what, seeing what people have been up to, what people have been commenting on today. Um, and just having a quick scan through Twitter as well, just to catch up. So because I've been out and it's been busy today, I've I've done some of this research before, mainly on the Iceland game, um, and it is literally just just I'm just looking now to to see what there is, to just catch up on the news. So we have just Twitter talking about. So, bet 365. Higuain scores his first goal for AC Milan to put them in front of the San Siro in a huge game against Roma. There was a 10-man celebration in the corner as his teammates jump on the ecstatic striker. Almost four minutes later, the goal is ruled out by VAR. Which is quite strange. Do quite like going through the people that I follow on Twitter as well because you can see you can get to see a fair bit of what's been happening 
you get to see a lot. in one place as well. So you can follow the right kind of people and see what's happening. Okay. I mean, Luka Modric on there. What a year he's had. Jesus, what a player. Picked up quite a lot. And I uh, see you've got Rafael Nadal was a set down, which is... Mental, that was 45 minutes ago. That would have been a nice lay, wouldn't it? Gosh, that would have been a very nice lay. Have you seen that? So, Rafael Nadal against a man called Karen. 7-5, um, lost the first set. It's 5-4 down. 5-4 down in the second set. He's going home. Let's see, he puts a massive fight back. So, but what... What some people would now do would just back Rafael Nadal blindly because he's... He is a world-class player. He is the fantastic tennis player. He has a lot of fighting and he can come back and do those kinds of things. But we don't want that. We really don't. Because we don't know the stats on it. So people people see that jump in. And I've seen it all the time. And we don't really want that. Because you just... You are just... Jumping in. At the very wrong time. Let's see what else I can find... Check out some news and stuff and bits and bobs. Hmm, okay. Flash scores, check it out. So, still all the scores are exactly the same. So it looks like we are doing the right thing. Or we are doing the right thing. I've not seen anything to to make me want to, to, to drop in, really. Um... I'm very, very tired. I've got some bits to do after this Facebook Live. So I'm not going to... I won't keep you guys for much longer because I know you've probably got better things to do on your Friday night than watch me with a runny nose. Um, <laughs> you know? You've probably got better things to do. Especially when it doesn't look like we've got much. We've not got loads happening, have we? Whoa, the Iceland game has gone in play. Wicked. Okay, guys, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to probably be wrapping this up pretty shortly. Um, these always seem to go so, so fast. So we're like 50 minutes in now. I am checking out the, the Trotter game. I can't really, I can't see... Loads and loads and loads of stats on it, to be honest. Uh, there isn't loads kicking about, but I've noticed that there was two goals on. 
I lost two goal, the two shots on target. Sorry, at half time. So it's one I'm going to keep my eye on. Flash scores don't seem to have much in play data or no in play data about about it. Just a bit annoying. Looks like the Dortmund game. It's 90 minutes plus three. It looks like that's going to finish nil nil. So yes, the stats potentially said that it, it wasn't going to finish like that, but it's just a great example of. The stats you use to build a picture, everything else we do. CS £94 matched. I'm not touching the, the CS market on the Trotor game. I would touch the... It's a selection that I would lay the 0-0 on, or the 1-0 or the 0-1. But there is no way near enough money matched on that. But on the, uh, the matched odds market, we've got nearly £4,000. So... Potentially, that's where I'm looking. I'm looking at a lay the draw there because I would have laid nil nil, so lay the draw as well. But to be honest, I'm looking at the price right now. It's 3.75. I really, really, really would like that to be below 2.7 before I get involved in it, and I just can't see it getting there anytime soon. And I want. 12 more minutes on there really before I would sort of be involved so yes the Leon game as well um, just the, the in play stats on that were just dire just absolutely terrible so it's it's crucial it just it, I think it really really reiterates the, the point that you know there's potentially there was four games here that were that were highlighted by stats and Definitely two of them were very high, highly highlighted, which is the Limerick and the Trotter game. But the in-play picture of that was very, very different to what actually, to what actually happened and what we can see unfolding between us. And then I know I keep I harp on about it, but make an assumption, make an assumption about what you think needs to happen, and then question it. So what needs to happen? What? What do you think is going to happen? What needs to happen for that to happen? Break that down. And then start to piece that together in play and see what see what you can come up with. Um just I mean we're we're five minutes in. There is there hasn't been another shot on target. In the Trotter Reykjavik game, been an extra corner, yellow card, but nothing that's really screaming out to me so far in this game. And I know we've only just kicked off in the second half, so it's probably going to be a little bit more that we need in there, but that to warm up that game to warm up. But okay, so Dortmund's finished 0 0. Dundalk, I would not get involved in now, there's only 10 minutes to go. And Leon and Nice, 10 minutes and 9 minutes to go, and we have a 0 1. So let's just, just have a look at what Leon have done to try and pull that back. So the stats are in the second half, they have had three shots. This is a team that is very good in their league. Yes, they're not Paris Saint-Germain, they don't have that attacking talent, but they are very, very good. They are equipped with the right players. Nabil Fakir for one, who is a good, 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 good player. Who Liverpool did did pull had some crazy issues with um, there. So did like agree to buy him and then didn't. So yes, yeah, so that's probably about it really for me, guys. I am looking for this Trotter game. I uh, three point five five currently to lay. I'm only going to give it another seven eight minutes really and i want to see it i do want to see it uh, below 2.7 i can't see it getting there and i want to see i want to see more than i'm seeing now i want to see some corners i want to see a total of probably 15 corners with shots on target and i can't i can't see it happening i just can't see it happening so i'm going to leave that one probably unless at, at that time it, it hits those things um, so yeah not the best trading night but I think again it just hopefully over these videos you're 
you're picking up some common themes and the themes are we create, we get the stats, we build a picture of games in our mind, we analyse them all the time, we're constantly analysing them and also we don't have to trade everything that moves. So a couple of these games tonight for example, I'm just going to go through the, there has been a goal in Limerick, of course there has, but did we really want to risk that? No. So, because that was a, that, well, that was a late goal. So we looked at the French League, big, big league, big league. Bundesliga, big league, that's what we looked at. Then we went into Ireland, which again is on, people would have looked at it, and then completely ignoring La Liga at the minute, and the Netherlands, and also Sarria A. But they're, they're, gay, they're big leagues that people would have looked at. Now, I think we've dodged a bullet in Lyon and, and Dortmund, so we've actually saved money, so we're ahead of the game. The Limerick game, there's just been a goal in there, but it's come, it's come at 82 minutes, didn't see enough to get involved, so it's not worth the risk. That would have been a bet, not a trade, because it wasn't as fought out, there wasn't the information there. And then the, the Trotter one, we... Uh, we shall see, see what happens with that. So if you do have any questions, now's the time to fire them away. As I said, I have put in the Google Drive link with Martin's results on, and I'm going to repost. I'm going to put that in again, because that was one of the things yesterday that I didn't get to answer, um, where somebody said that, that Martin isn't profitable over the longer term on the, the under 2.5s. They've been going just over a month and they are they are profitable to £10 stakes. So, and a, a decent profit as well, to be fair. Definitely something which can be built on. But as I said, Martin does have a history of being profitable on the football. So I'm just going to put those results in there. It's Google Drive and that is updated regularly so you can check that out. And he puts those selections in the community and emails them out every single day. So I am going to go, guys, and sort this flipping nose out. Just keep my eye on that, that Trotter game for a, for a lay the draw. Not holding any hope, to be honest. Not holding out for any hope. Because I'm just, I'm just not 100% on that, so probably not going to do anything on that. But that was one that I did have researched from today. And I, I did think I would potentially get involved in that if it was nil nil at half-time. If the, if the in-play stats backed it up but they don't seem to so guys i'm going to leave you there i hope you have an absolutely incredible week and weekend i cannot wait to get back and do another one of these videos and find out what you guys have been up to and if if you guys have got any anything that you want to talk about on these videos any topics that you want me to cover and theme these videos around we can look to do that definitely we can look to do that over because this is like 30 days of a, of a morning trade. I know this is an evening one. But we can look to do that in the morning video. So once we finish this series, we can do another series. We can do another series. I am also looking at doing some video interviews. So I'm going to interview some of the members. Loads of different members. From new members to old members to medium members. Whatever. And... Also, I think it's going to be really, really cool. I've got this idea to interview some other traders. So I'm going to pull on some of the traders that I know and just speak to them. I've got some questions that I think will draw out some good answers. I'm going to do these videos, these as video interviews, and then I'll pop them up on the YouTube channel. But I hope that if there's a trader or person that you think of interest who would be really, really good for those kind of videos please will you do me a favor and email them their name to me um, at info at betfair trading community and i can reach out to them or if you know them connect us via email and i will I quite happily do the interview with them get them on and let's get some really really good content created so like i say guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic weekend and week ahead Philip Brown. How many members are there on BTC? There is a lot. So BTC has roughly, I will tell you. I'm not going to interview all the members because, jeez, could you imagine? It'd take me forever.
got it saved in here somewhere. Never find it when I need it. Let me come back to you on that question because I will find it because there is well on the page so on the so there is three rows on the page of members there's 11 per row so 33 and we currently have 21 pages of of members so quite quite a lot there although on the last page there's only three so 20 20 pages um, yeah one two three four five six yeah so quite a lot of members and a lot of the members are very active and they will help out and really push those kinds of things and and that we built the whole community around the the premise that no question is a daft question but like i say um i want to create more content that's that's focused around what you actually want to see so yes i hope you have a fantastic time guys i'm going to leave you there please subscribe to these videos if you like them and then you can you can never miss them and uh, yeah i hope you have a fantastic weekend trading see you soon